Hello, my beautiful people. Um, today I'm going to be, came to the table to do a collective reading. Um, I've been trying to go live lately, so if you've seen me live, thank you for stopping by. If you're new here, catch me on the live, comment down below, claim this reading, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and see what message we have for you guys. Don't forget you can book a one-on-one uh, -on -one meeting with me. There is a link in my bio. I am working on doing and creating a course to teach people how to read cards as well. So if that interests you, go ahead and put interested in the comments. I see somebody coming out of a very difficult time right now. But you're going to make it through. You got the chariot with the ten of swords. King of cups. Let's see what else we have. Yeah, there's something that you're letting go of. Like you're coming at, it's go, It's at the end of a difficult time. Like you're finally sitting on your throne. Pisces is coming to, um, coming to mind. We've got a, a fish necklace that they're pointing out. Something, it's very odd for them to point that out. Um, let's see, we've got the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Wands in reverse. So you're definitely working through, like I said, you're coming out of a time, maybe you're leaving a, a job, maybe you're getting a divorce. I'm seeing more of, of this being a, like a love reading, that you're coming out of a, a relationship right now, and that you're finally sitting on your throne after all this time of kind of being stabbed in the back and, and taking all of that pain. Okay. You've got the chariot in reverse, which signifies to me, um, you know, the chariot in upright position is all about, you know, being unstoppable. So when it's in the reverse, I feel like you've just been walked on by this. Whoever's been treating you like this, it could be a, a friendship, but I'm seeing this being a lover um, with the ace of wands in reverse. Like you've been holding on to this for like, there's, they're telling me years and years and years. Okay. And you're worth more than that. Yeah, you strength in reverse and then page of swords in upright. So again, with the ace of wands and the strength and the chariot in reverse, it is it is like this has been some of the most difficult times of your life. This has been some of the most traumatic, toxic times of your life with this person. But you have held on. You've held on to your sword. You've held on to that little tiny bit of strength that you have that you've had to you know get through and you've managed to hold on to that little tiny bit gosh let's see what else we have i'm sending you such a big hug right now but i'm also sending you a hug and and knowing that you're going to be okay and knowing that it's coming to an end the tens are all about uh, endings new beginnings what else do we have for the collective here Please clarify what's going on with this relationship, Spirit. Please help me clarify what's going on with this relationship. It's collective. This King of Cups, though. Damn right you ain't going to let them walk on you anymore. Damn right. You are bigger. You are better. You. We have one life to win, ba live, baby. One life to win is what I. what came out before live. Just remember that. You are only you. Who are you living for? Them? Why? Yes, the Ace of Cups with the Nine of Wands. Yes, the Nine of Wands signifying that it, you're. It, this is it. Like I said, that's clarification that you're done. And it's coming to an end. And the Cups is like you have worked. Doves might be significant to you. You have worked your ass off. You have worked your ass off. You're going to be letting go. There's going to be nostalgic memories and hard. Like I see you looking through old pictures, like printed pictures in the frame still. Or you have been looking at, you know, those the memories of love, right? And that's hard to let go. But you deserve better. The Hierophant. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Spirit said, yeah, you do. And then we've got the five of pentacles in reverse, meaning that you are coming out of this. This is going to be a big change for you. 
Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're doing everything. It's going to happen sooner than you expect it. Sooner than you expect it, this is going to happen. The move out of this house, the divorce, the papers being signed, the, the something, the separation. The Nine of Pentacles, beautiful. We love that moving forward because that represents that you will find the abundance, as I keep saying. That abundance is here for you, collective. Birds might be significant. Grapes might be significant. Saying that you may be something about a vineyard. Drinking wine is popping out. Yeah, we've got the Seven of Cups. Look at all of these different scenarios that you have been through. They, the Spirit is pointing out, like, look at all of these lives that you've lived. Like, you've already lived seven lives. We've got the dragon. We've got the wreath. We've got the decorations, the castle. The uplifting moment is now. With that snake trying to sneak behind you, but you're not going to let it. You're not going to let it. What else do we have for the collective? Let's clarify this beautiful pentacle energy. These nine of pentacles. What else does the collective need to know? Any other messages for the collective? I'm just, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Look at that, baby. Look at that. We've got the nine of cups. And that that's material harvest. That's you reaping what you deserve. That is you setting in your throne. If they'll let me pick it up. Sitting in your throne, okay? Nine of cups. That's it. This is fulfillment of wishes. What did I just do? I just turned all these cards around. Spirit said, pay attention. I just mixed all these cards up. All right, it's time to go to the oracle deck. Let's see what kind of oracle message we have here for the collective. Based off of this beautiful Nine of Cups energy with that last card being and starting with the King of Cups, the Ace of Cups. Honey, you're going to get what you want. You're going to get what you need. Okay. This is, this is a beautiful life. What kind of oracle message do we have for the collective spirit? Rest and rejuvenate. That's right. This is your time. Four of Swords. Now is your time to rest and rejuvenate, to bring yourself, because you're going to have a lot of choices, two of pentacles. You're going to have a lot of different decisions to make to lead you to the best path. And I see you opening that correct door. This two of pentacles, you see them looking at the door, which door to pick. That is you right now. And you're going to walk in that right door. I, I can feel it. Deception and envy, you might be really, I mean, that's, that's clearly clarifying what I was saying earlier with the Ten of Swords. Somebody deceived you. There was something that went astray after you being so loyal, right? How does it feel like, oh, yes, Ace of Swords. Yes, yes, yes. Where'd that, oh, because we got the Ace of Cups, yeah. Ace of Swords injury, it, not injury, triumphant success. That was the Ace of Cups. Beautiful, yes. We've got lots of swords energy, so there's lots of action happening. And then the light. We can see this is represents the, <clears throat> the sun card. Beautiful, beautiful light. Look at finally, finally getting that. What other messages do we have? That one went flying. Five of Pentacles in the upright. You're going to meet somebody new may not be right away, but you're going to get somebody, you're going to meet somebody, you're going to be with somebody. It could, it could be a partnership and, and work, but maybe that's where you're going to meet them. They said, what's that? Fa yeah. Yep. Four of Wands. Foundation, family, achievements. This is like the abundance of life and exactly like what you have thrived for for all these years. Any last message for the collective watching? Any last message, Spirit? Any final message? The magician, you are aware of what you need. Okay? Keep pressing forward. You are just, you are an abundance of love, joy, happiness, and you deserve the best. Okay? Until next time, namaste, love and light. Claim in the comments below.